morning to you all and welcome to another video down here today at Chippewa uh, which is a nice ramp here in uh, the Niagara Falls area uh, free by the way we gotta get here early because there is limited space but it is free every day of the week free it's actually a really nice ramp I'm um, here with two of our riders today one you know very well and one we've never met before but we're gonna call him Woody 2.0 because he rides the same machine as Woody and on today's video we haven't really got a clue what we're doing we're just going for a nice ride uh, Niagara River maybe around Grand Island and then uh, make our way out onto Lake Erie and just do some exploring and keep an eye on the skies because it's meant to be quite stormy as well so uh, we all know who he is back <laughs> back and there's our other rider for today so there we go. All right, let's get things wait, going. Wait, 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 hold on, hold on, guys, Chaz, you gotta check this out. Look at him. Look at him with his fancy shoes. Ooh, I like these. Are they CD shoes? Yeah, they are, are CD shoes. He's on brand, he's yeah. on brand. Yeah. Well done. <laughs> All right, guys, enjoy his video. I'm just waiting for the Garmin to come on. As you can tell from behind me, uh, skies aren't the best right now. Blue in places but dark and others. So the forecast for today is thunder showers, uh, but it's supposed to be pretty much okay for the most of the morning and early afternoon. Though it was raining right up until about seven o'clock this morning down this area. It was soaking wet when I woke up and very cloudy, but it seems to be breaking up now and the storms are meant to build. So I'm just here for a bit of fun today, keeping an eye on the weather. I don't know what Mark's doing. Uh, he'll film his own thing and I'll film my own thing and we'll see what we come up with. So, oh, there he is. Camera on camera. <laughs> Alright buddy, Hey, how's it going? Well, I can, I see you. You hit him, let's get up to some trouble. And uh, we're bringing Jay um, along for the ride too. He might never ever come back though after today. Any riders out there that have never been to this part of the world before, it is well worth the ride on the Niagara River and also on the Wellen River. The Wellen River, which is this now in Chippewa, is absolutely beautiful with some stunning scenery all around. Now Chippewa is a, basically a small community in Niagara Falls. So Niagara Falls is just, just over there. And uh, if you've never seen the videos of me down here before, when we get to the end of this part of water, which is part of the, uh, this is Welland River. And once we get up here, you'll be able to see uh, Niagara Falls skyline quite clearly. Uh, secondly, uh, believe it or not, I didn't realize this, but this water here on Welland River, uh, the flow of the current is actually controllable. Uh, I'm so used to it going that way to behind me from Niagara River down there, but they can actually make it go the other way from the canal all the way back to Niagara River. But most of the time, it actually goes that way. Part of an old bridge uh, before they built the newer one and uh, Quite often you come through, you'll be people just sitting there relaxing. It's kind of a nice spot, and people sitting on the docks. It's a very peaceful place here in the morning. On the previous videos we've been up here, uh, we usually tie up here at this little dock and run over to Tim Hortons, which is a nice little spot. See the current right there? Yeah, it's like I'm not. It's not usually like that, right there. I, that's quite uh, pretty powerful. Yeah, I'm like I never see white caps here unless it's like really windy. Yeah, there's quite a lot of uh, I don't know if a lot of water being brought into here, but uh, I know there's always a good current. But we've got little white caps here where it comes around the bend, so a hell of a strong current. I'm in mean neutral and I'm actually doing six kilometers an hour. I'm in mean neutral just doing five, six kilometers an hour right now, just for the current. This is Niagara Falls and this is the International Control Dam located just above the falls. The control dam was completed in 1954. International Dam, a weir in the Niagara River, causes the Welland River to reverse its direction twice a day when the flow of water over the Niagara Falls is reduced overnight and the water heads back up river as far back as Wellandport. 
When the water flow is restored, the water direction of the Welland River changes, once again flowing towards the Niagara River. All right, let's hit the Niagara River. famous Niagara Falls right behind me. Uh, the new rider with us today. Not every day many people get to see it from this angle. So there we go. Uh, as always, just over here, the United States of America, um, the bridge over to uh, Grand Island. And we're gonna go around the US side of Grand Island today and make our way down to the entrance to the Erie Canal and Elliott Creek and see what we can see as we go along. Just over there is the entrance to the Erie Canal, but I think I'm going to change the plan here. I would have marked. Hello. If you went in there, I think we might have to save the Elliott Creek for another day. Yeah, so just straight to the Beast Bridge, Buffalo, and to the, uh, the silos. Do that. Uh, I believe it, uh, Radisson. Yeah, Radisson Hotel. I don't want to do the same video as Mark, forget that. I think I've ridden the Niagara River now about 15 to 20 times and I tell you what, I've still not got bored of it. It's just such a fantastic ride. This is the South Grand Island Bridge, which uh, separates uh, Grand Island from the mainland of USA. Uh, you can't get from Grand Island to uh, Canada. Uh, you can't do it, it's just an island, but only uh, US entry only. The next stop on our trip down the Niagara River, or I should say up the Niagara River, will be the uh, railway crossing bridge at Fort Erie. Back in. <laughs> the current, I mean, my engine's going, so I'm, I'm not idling, I'm in, I'm in uh, crawl mode. Uh, and you can see I'm just being pushed back to the bridge. And if I put it in neutral, which I'm gonna do right now. All right, neutral, here we go. Whee, I'm in neutral. Going backwards. Six kilometers an hour. Insane. So anyway, this is the old railway bridge. Uh, crosses uh, from uh, US to Canada. Buffalo's just there. And Fort Erie is here. And uh, right ahead of us is the Peace Bridge, which is busy today. A lot of trucks stuck on there right now. 
So if you're riding a sea do along here, if you want to come down this way, um, once you get to this bridge, you want to keep it out of eco mode and make sure you're just in regular because you will need that extra power to just get you out of difficulties. Because if you get sucked in, you, you want to move quickly. So uh, it is quite powerful, the current, especially on the other side here. Now you can just see where the current's got little whirlpools bubbling up and then you have a whirlpool there. Now you think this is bad, wait till you see the Peace Bridge. If you've never ridden the uh, Upper Niagara River in this section here at Peace Bridge and you fancy doing it and you want someone to come with you, just get in touch with me, drop me a message on this YouTube channel or get in touch with me on my Facebook uh, page, which is the same name by the way, Lake Erie Vlogger, and send me a message and we'll hook up. to Lake Erie, uh, the winds have really picked up. We got white caps at the entrance of the river here. I don't know what it's like fully on the lake. I do see a couple of boats out there. So I'm guessing, but I am seeing white caps as well. So we're gonna go towards Buffalo. And uh, yeah, look at this. She's choppy today. I'm not, I'm not, you can see the white caps just blowing right across me in front. Look. Oh, I'm getting bridged. Well, just, just in front of her, you can see where it just calm again, so I just gotta get out of the chop. Hold up. Whoa. going to try and make it over to Crystal Beach but I don't know if we will try because there's a lot of white caps out there and the problem with white caps the waves are so close together you can't it's, it's not fun to ride in because it's just up and down up and down up and down really really fast uh, there's, there's not there's no swell to it just yet because it's too much chop you can't ride at a good speed so I'm just behind the main wall but just, even just here it's just all chop but we're going over there in a minute, let's have a look and we'll get a better look at the lake and if we can make it, we'll make it. In the meantime, Buffalo Harbour. They're actually wearing pirate hats. Cool. All right, I don't need to film Buffalo because I've done it before, but if I see something different, I'll put the camera back on. I'm gonna let Mark put that on his video. But he wants to go down to the silos, so I like it down there. So a little roll down. Quite a lot of debris in the uh, harbor way here. Now what I find interesting, I just saw something I'm gonna take you up to in a minute. But we've got all these sailboats here, like next to me. 
and then right in front of me is this massive ship which you, when you see against the little sailboats yachts it's like it dwarfs them it's uh a bit of skill getting that boat in here i'm sure it is the american Mari, uh, Mari, mariner uh, registered in wilmington delaware and uh, what I saw on the uh, maps, <laughs> dogs with life, that's cute. So uh, he came in from Sault Ste. Marie, and it looks like, I don't know what he's delivering here. General Mills, so this is a General Mills factory. So, grains, could be grain. It's a bulk carrier, I, I, I don't think it's coal, so I'm gonna guess it's grain. Uh, just being discharged here for General Mills. Buffalo flag flying from the uh, the bow of the ship. General Mills. It's freaking huge! Look at that! Well, I'm not picking this up. Not that. That! Oh, you can smell the sweetness every time you come here. Just looking at Mark Sidu and uh, look what he's brought. Hello. An umbrella! Man up, man. Huh? Man up. You don't bring an umbrella on a sea -Doo. I got wet going through the waves. If you're fishing and you're just sitting oh. there. Oh, for when he's fishing. It's a mobile bimini. A bimini? A bimini? A bimini. A bimini. What did you call it? A bimby. A bimby. A bimby. I prefer bimby, it's easy to say. Nature is uh, re-cleaning its land back. ship. I'm underneath a ship. Cool going on the deep part. I didn't think like I could do it, but uh, it's alright. That's alright, that. We decided to go for a spot of lunch, <coughs> so we have to do the uh, CBP row map, and I had a few problems with mine, because apparently it doesn't work on Android very well, so I had to borrow an Apple phone, 
I got scolded a little bit because uh, we're already in Buffalo and we weren't meant to be this far up the river, but in the end they've accepted me and we're just waiting on Mark for his video interview. Once his video interview's done, we can go and have some lunch here in Buffalo. You're all set. Awesome, thanks so much, appreciate it. Yep. Let's go for lunch. <laughs> when I did my previous video, I mean, I, I, I missed, I was told you can come in the waterways, you just can't touch land, which is correct, but you can't come right into the river like we did. So that was a misunderstanding. I was told, look, you can be on the water, you just can't touch. So it was a misunderstanding, but the guy was all right in the end. So uh, we've been allowed in and uh, we were approved. So we're stopped by uh, the customs while we're out and about. They'll just pull it up and they'll see that we've been approved and have no issues. All right, this is where we're gonna go for some lunch, I think. We've got to try and find somewhere to park up, moor up. The, uh, the jetties are very high up, so I'm sure our sea dudes will end up going underneath. See the big gap? Yeah, I'm gonna lose my sea dew in there. Well, that was a palaver. The gap is huge. All right. Let's go find some food and a drink. Well, that didn't work out. There was loads of empty tables, but there was well over an hour wait for us to get food. So we thought, screw it, let's leave and go find somewhere else. Wow. So uh, we had a beer and that was it, and left. So uh, we'll find somewhere else next time I come down here. We'll go there again. Out of nowhere, the wind has really picked up out here. Uh, the river's extremely choppy. It's not a smooth ride anymore. Uh, we're making our way back to uh, Chippewa and from there I think we're going to try and get up the Welland River quickly before we call it a day uh, but right now it's very gusty wind Wow! Oh it doesn't help but you need to pee a bladder White caps. Oh. Got a pee, got a pee. I had to pee, that's why I'm late. <laughs> what am I stopping and grabbing a bite to eat? I'm absolutely starving. My like Ethan's left the house this morning. It's like seven hours ago. Just like that. to the uh, idle speed we're just crawling we um eight, eight to ten kilometers an hour um with the current mind you and the wind's blowing right up the river <laughs> we're just getting like spots constantly All right, we're back at Chippewa, uh, the boat ramp, so we're gonna call it a day here. Uh, those winds are getting really starting to pick up. Don't wanna be out when it gets too strong and blustery on the river, because, yeah, I just don't want to. Until the next time, <laughs> thanks for watching, stay safe. On my next adventure, I travel west. Ah! Oh. I can't go anywhere without you. No, you can't. You just, you just love me too much. Where we find another very fast-flowing river. Oh, there he goes. <laughs> Where the clouds are as grim as my face. 
some bright moments. Check this old bird out. I wish we were followed by dark moments. Ah! Ooh, I like a bridge. That's like cough syrup. Join me on another fun-filled adventure on the Sea-Doo as I head on down to uh, Sarnia and check out the uh, St. Clair River and a few other waterways nearby.